people, uh, young bass players coming up, I mean, they, they, they look up to the upper echelon of bass players and you're, you're certainly one of them. Um, I want to call back to our discussion about, you know, sort of finding internal fortitude, courage, you know, to, uh, to, to, to come out and to put your music out there and to play things that you're not absolutely sure about. I wonder if, um, if, there, if you could point to a hurdle that you overcame when you were coming up, um, a, a fear that you had or, uh, or, 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 you know, something where you, you know, you stepped over this line and, you know, finally I did it, you know, give, give you know, give the young bass players that are watching this an example of, of the way you brought court courage to bear. I, I, I think probably the most fearsome I've ever been in my career was uh, playing alongside Edgar Meyer. Okay. Because for me, uh, Edgar Meyer is like the most perfect bass player mm -hmm. on the planet. Uh, the fact that every note he plays is perfectly in tune. Uh, notes never choke. You know, it's always just smooth and perfect. When he decided that, you know, hey man, I, I want to do some some duets with you. We need to put something together. Mm -hmm. It's like playing one on one with Jordan, right? Right. And I realized that Edgar Meyer has made his legend in the bluegrass and classical world. That's right. You know, I have not. I come from a completely different world, mm -hmm. and. I know that playing with a bow, um, that's the great equal. It, it's like a, it's like truth serum. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the bow can always let the people know when you've practiced, right? right? right. It's a very unforgiving thing. Huh. And so uh, I remember it was like getting in the gym. Seriously, like when I knew I was about to go play these duet gigs with Edgar, I was like in the mirror. <laughs> like, okay, I was back to high school, man. You know, got my sub. Uh, uh, you know, some Mandel books and, you know, I was like, okay, here we yep. go. Long tones, long tones. And like every time a note would choke, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to, I need to cancel. I, I, I'm not going to do this, you know. Okay. And uh, Edgar would send me some of the music and, and it was hard, hmm. you know. So not only am I trying to really brush up on my technique, but then the music he sent was very difficult. Right. I'm like, man, I can't do this, you know. <laughs> so... Um, we started, we played our first gig, it was in Aspen, Colorado, and uh, Edgar showed up and he was like, man, I just want you to know I'm really nervous. I was like, the hell out of here, man, what do you got to be <laughs> nervous about? He was like, well, because I, my, my forte is not yours, you know, I can't, you know, I don't do this, mm -hmm. you know. I said, well, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> he said, well, good, we're even, <laughs> you know, and so... Um, I think that was a, a situation where the both of us, we decided at that point that our weaknesses were our strengths. Okay. So let's jump off this cliff together. Mm -hmm. You know, we both have we both have good musical ears. You know, we know when someone's in tune and who's not. We know when a note is good or when it's maybe not so good. As long as we got that, let's just go on this journey and see what happens. Yeah. You know, and. Um, I don't know. I really think that uh, jumping off that cliff, um, fear is healthy. I don't think there's anything wrong with being nervous about something. Mm -hmm. That means that you care. You know what I mean? But you, I, I think um, the regret of never having jumped off that cliff to find out will be more damaging than doing it and falling flat on your face. At least Absolutely. if you fall flat on your face, you know, okay, next time I got to go do this right. right, as opposed to never knowing that, right. you know what I mean? So that, that example of Edgar is one thing, but the overall answer to your question is that um, if it came to something musical, I'm not sure I've ever been scared enough to not try something, you know what I mean? I, I've never been afraid to fail because I, I, I think failure is necessary. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I, I see these bumper stickers from all these, these business people like, you know, failure is not an option. You know, <laughs> I feel the exact opposite. Yeah, it's the only option. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. It's the only option. That's how you learn. Mm -hmm. you know, if you know everything, just go ahead and die already and, and leave the, uh, the blueprint for all of us humans who don't know everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, failure is necessary. 
a music, uh, music teacher, a high school music teacher, a friend of mine always says, um, try, fail, try again, fail better. There you go. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. Christian, thank you so much, man. I'm really glad I met you. Yeah, I ditto. You, brother. Beautiful speaking with you, man. Thank you. You too. You too. Let's do it again. Can we, um, can we get a little music? For, sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. I'll do my Ron Carter warm up.